Welcome to the Movie Film Show. I'm Carl, and as you can tell from the title and the thumbnail of the video, we react to the trailer for Shang-Chi and Legend of the Ten Rings, the next Marvel movie, which comes out just next month in September. Or should I say we're reacting to four separate mini trailers this week. Marvel released four mini trailers or TV spots for the new movie. We're going to check out all of them. The first one's called Rise, and it looks like this. I know that you don't like to talk about your life, but a guy with a freaking machete for an arm just chopped our bus in half. It's a pretty cool visual. Slow motion, cutting a bus in half. That's what you see every day. We're third. My father trained me to be an assassin. And that's not Okay, backstory. Every superhero has a bad backstory. Tough childhood. We'll rise. My name is Shang-Chi. You're such a badass. Thank you. Ready. Marvel Studios, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. So the whole lot given away, bus gets cut in half, some fight in purple. Looks good. Action. Comedy. Basic Marvel. Next little mini trailer is called Call, and let's jump in. For thousands of years, the Ten Rings. That's really cool. The visual of the rings being pushed down, held together by electricity. Looks really cool. My son. Got that bad backstory again. There's that bus getting cut in half second time. I'm not who you think I am. That fight looks pretty cool with the backlit fight. We're seeing a lot of movies lately. Legend of the Ten Rings, rated PG-13. If I die, it's your fault. September 3rd. Cage fight against a monster. That could be an interesting visual. Already after these two spots, you can see there's a lot of action in there. The thing with the rings could be really cool. Could be a really cool weapon. Let's see what's in your trailers. All my life, I've tried to forget my past. Tried to forget his past. Tough childhood. In the ten rings. Oh, he throws the rings this time. Meant for greatness. Don't hide who you really are. I'm nothing like you. Hell yeah. We missed the rise. Is that bus getting cut in half again? Third time. My name is Shang Chi. Nice. He kind of like shoots the rings that time. Sean. S H A N G. Sean. That's what I said. Reading PG 13, Peter September 3rd. Okay, there's definitely a comic relief character in there. You know, I guess they kind of always have to have that in Marvel movies. The sidekick, comic relief character somewhere. So far, there's been a lot of action in the trailer, some cool stuff with the rings. But the main thing they seem to be focusing on is that bus getting cut in half. Will it feature in the last trailer called Rise Up? I'm gonna guess yes, so let's find out. I know that you don't like to talk about your life, but I got Straight away. Straight away. Just chopped our bus in half. Want to show a bit more this time? You actually get to cross the other part of the bus. Cool. Who are you? On September 3rd, my father trained me to be an assassin. Okay, same stuff we've seen before. Who I am. Slow motion water. Cool. A Marvel legend. DJ Snake. Will rise. You got this. We have more of them. Scene four. You can't outrun your destiny. See my fighting other trailers. The character looks really cool. Oh, it's kind of like a battle. Shang Chi. Shang Chi. Shang. 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 Same part that ended the last one. That's what I said. Ready. Marvel Studios Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, pretty PG-13, in theaters September 3rd. That one had the very interesting battle scene, that looks really cool. But other than that, they're heavily focused on the bus and the comic relief character not being able to say the other character's name on an airplane. Now hopefully it's a case where they're keeping their cards close to their chest on this one. I've got to say, even before I saw these trailers, I wasn't too excited for this movie. And maybe that's because I'm kind of done with Marvel. I've seen it all. Been overdone to a certain extent. And for the most part, recent Marvel stuff, like The Falcon and the Winter Soldier and Loki, have been disappointments to me. Black Widow was better than I expected, but still it was more of the same from Marvel. I'm kind of expecting this with Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings is more the same. Sure, some cool visuals, some good lighting, some big action, big fights, superhero powers. We've seen it a million times over at this stage. So for me personally, there was nothing too exciting in these trailers. And I'd love to know if you guys are looking forward to Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings. Should I be more excited for this one? Is it gonna reinvigorate the whole Marvel MCU? The Marvel MCU, that's not right, just the MCU. Let me know your thoughts on Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings in the comments section below. And in case you missed it, we recently did a trailer reaction to Ghostbusters Afterlife. And if you want to check that video out, there should be a link to it right over here for you to check out. With all that being said and done, thank you so much for watching.